హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మై ఛానల్ టెక్నో రీస్ బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ టు ద నెక్స్ట్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ న్యాచురల్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ ప్లీజ్ లైక్ అండ్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు మై ఛానల్ అండ్ క్లిక్ ది బెల్ ఐకాన్ టు గెట్ న్యూ వీడియో అప్డేట్స్ సో లెట్ అస్ స్టార్ట్ ద సెకండ్ టాపిక్ ఆర్ సెకండ్ పార్సింగ్ టెక్నిక్ విచ్ ఇస్ బాటమ్ ఆఫ్ పార్సింగ్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ పార్సింగ్ టెక్నిక్ ద ప్రాసెస్ ఇట్ బిగిన్స్ విత్ అస్ సెంటెన్స్ and then it proceeds towards the root and the second type of parsing technique is bottom up parsing so here process it begins with a sentence and the words of the sentence is replaced by relevant symbols so we can see that uh, here uh, construction of the parse tree it starts at the leaf nodes so leaves are nothing but words in the sentence and it proceeds towards the root root is nothing but start symbol so when can we say that the parsing is successful so we can say that it is successful if you are able to build a tree rooted in the start symbol so if you are able to reach from leaves to start symbol then we can say that it is successful and it attempts to reverse the manufacturing process so it is exactly opposite process of uh, top down parsing right so there we started with the start symbol in the move towards the leaf whereas here we are move, starting with the leaves and moving towards the or uh, returning to the start symbol and the goal of reaching the start symbol it is accomplished by using series of reductions so how to do this see the second point so when the rhs of some rule if it matches the substring of input spring so for example i have a string like this cd is eating this is my input spring and i have a production like this auxiliary verb equal to is sorry this is not equal to it derives is so see this statement clearly so when the rhs is of some rule so this is one rule right so this is a rule what is rhs here is so when rhs of some rule matches substring of the input string so substrings are series one substring of this is and eating so there are three substrings in this complete sentence so if there is a match with so here if this rhs is matched with the substring of the input string then the substring is replaced with lhs so you need to replace this substring with lhs of matched production so in that case you need to draw parse tree like this so we are starting with the leaf nodes so is you need to replace the c with lhs of the matched production lhs is auxiliary verb so you need to construct tree like this is should be ma uh, it should be replaced with auxiliary verb as this is lhs of the matured production so in this way you need to repeat this process until start symbol is reached so we'll we'll repeat this process or we'll construct the tree from bottom to top until we reach the start symbol which is represented with yes so this is the process in bottom up parsing so let us see this with example the example is john is playing game remove the c john is playing game and so what is our process in bottom up parsing when the rhs of some rule matches the substring of the input string the substring is replaced with lhs of the matched production so what is the given string here given input string is john is playing game so what are substrings john is playing game so those are substrings 
So now check substring is replaced with uh, LHS of matched production. When it will be when it will occur when there is a match, right? So check whether this game is existing in RHS of any production. Yes, here we are having. So this is the matched production, right? So now as this game is existing in the RHS, you need to replace that substring game with. LHS of the production. So, substring is replaced with LHS of matured production. So, this game should be replaced with noun. So, replace this game with noun. Similarly, next word is playing. So, playing it should be, so it is existing here. So, it should be replaced with LHS of that production. So, that becomes verb. And the third one is is. So, is is matched with the substring in the given string. So, now replace this is with auxiliary verb. And the last one is John. So, John is existing in the production. So, you can replace that with LHS of the matched production. That is now. Okay. So, you need to repeat this process until we reach the start symbol because this, that is our goal in bottom of parsing. Okay, in step 2, check whether noun is existing in RHS. Yes, noun is existing in RHS. So, replace that noun with proper noun. So, replace noun with... Yeah, noun is existing in two places, right? So, you can... Either replace this noun with nominal or you can replace that with proper noun. Because finally, in both the cases, we are getting NP only. So, for this example, you can apply either of the rules. So, here, noun is replaced with nominal. So, noun is replaced with nominal. And check whether verb is existing anywhere. No. Auxiliary verb. So, auxiliary verb alone is not existing. It is existing with NP and BP. But we just want only auxiliary verb. So, that's not existing anywhere. So, leave it like that. Now, check noun. So, noun it is existing here. So, you can replace that with proper noun. And move to next step. So, now check whether nominal is existing anywhere. So, nominal is present here. So, you can replace that with NP. Done. Next verb. Nothing. Auxiliary verb. No operation is done. Now move to this proper noun. So check proper noun. It is existing here. So you can replace that with NP. So either it can be either a proper noun or nominal noun. In both the cases, you will be replacing that with NP only. Yes. So we got this step 3. Now come here. So, check whether NP. NP is not existing anywhere here. Similarly, verb is not existing anywhere. Now, you can check combination, whether uh, both of them are existing in production. So, you can see verb and NP, they are existing in this production. So, replace this with VP. So, replace that with VP and auxiliary verb, still it remains alone. Now, move to NP. NP. Again, NP alone, it can't be replaced with anything. So, in next step, you can replace this norm, verb, sorry, VP, auxiliary verb and NP. So, all these three together, they are existing in this first production, right? So, you can replace that with start symbol, which gives you this tree. So, as we reach at the start symbol here, we can say that parsing is successful and we reached our goal. So, you can stop the process here. So, this is your final parse tree which is obtained for this given string using bottom-up parsing.